like Graham Hancock stuff like Graham Hancock stuff yeah Arctic mule indeed indeed and what did the mainstream corporate media try to do try to silence Graham Hancock demonize him do not you do not oh man I gotta tell you this so Graham Hancock right he came up with this new book and stuff like this I was driving and the only time I listened to the CBC is a Canadian propaganda news not news propaganda agency government funded right if you're in Canada you know that CBC gets basically most of his funding it does most of his funding from the federal government which gets his money from taxpayers like Canadians like me and you if you're in Canada right and they take that money and give it to the CBC to be their propaganda arm right so we're funding our own propaganda fucking insane right so I only listen to this shit when I'm in the radio and I usually won't check it to see, in the car and I usually listen to it to check to see what they're feeding the masses or those who still continue to take the shit seriously right and the weather <laughs> right <laughs> not climate change but the weather no. just for fun so few months ago I tuned in I listened to this and they brought in this 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 uh, I don't know show I don't know who this person was brought in this expert to talk about Graham Hancock's book that talks about uh, past civilizations right and I know a little bit about Graham Hancock's book I know a little bit about his teachings uh, I know about other teachings. Uh, I know about human history to a certain degree, from the Great Flood to the biblical times to the scientific aspect of it to many aspects of it. Right. So I like Graham Hancock. Not not that I agree with everything he has to say, but I like Graham Hancock. Fucking right on. Right. So this interviewer interviewing this expert about Graham Hancock's book I was so fucking pissed I couldn't believe it in the first three minutes in the first three minutes right this guy goes through trying for, first of all it was a full-on attack on Graham Hancock and the book fucking ruthless immoral condescending attack on Graham but presented in an ASMR format that says you're about to get fucked, right? It, it, you felt violated listening to this shit, right? In the first three minutes, this guy linked up why Graham Hancock's book is being sold at white supremacist, supremacist bookstores. So it's anti Semitic science denying white supremacist racist ideology which is a cult connects it up with that links it up to a bookstore that is in vancouver called banyan books which is about they have alternative books teaching civilizations a lot of herbal stuff shamanistic stuff it's one of those bookstores where certain specialty books you have to go there to get or you get them to order it for you they have books there that are a few hundred dollars like rare pub fucking legit bookstore this this bookstore has been around for 50 60 years trying to un, trying to explain why Graham Hancock's book is in white supremacist bookstores as well as this bookstore which many would consider to be the fucking most left-leaning bookstore in Vancouver with shamanistic stuff transcendent meditation uh, yoga all this stuff why this book is available to that because there's a cult that follows this whole philosophy that there have been other civil it was i couldn't i was so pissed i couldn't i had to turn it off because after three five minutes because i was getting very angry driving right unbelievable so yeah like graham hancock stuff if you haven't listened to graham hancock you haven't watched an interview with him a lecture with him read, read any of his work look into him and mark wade is um is mark wade no uh wade davis wade davis is really good as well 
Terrence McKenna is really good, uh, obviously. But look into Graham Hancock. Look into Graham Hancock. Wade Davis is really good as well. 